We're hearing lots of ideas for how to get our old lives back. Before we go tonight, Ken Rice has some personal thoughts on that. So here we are into week seven of the pandemic shutdown, and I can't really imagine what it's going to be like when we're allowed out again. And the uncertainty is particularly frustrating for parents like my wife and me who have kids in college. Actually, we have one graduating this week from a lockdown university. No commencement ceremony. That's on hold indefinitely. No parties. No hugging friends goodbye. No, the grand finale of the four most consequential years of our daughter's young life will be logging off her computer at the end of her last final, closing the door to her apartment, and then just driving away from the ghostly shuttered campus. Also, I have a freshman who's finishing up his semester online in his bedroom. It's not ideal. Thing is, neither kid knows what's next, and I don't either. Will colleges really bring back everyone in the fall into classrooms, dorms, and dining halls? Will professors, older ones especially, accept the risk of in-person instruction? Does a crowded college campus make any sense at all until there's a vaccine? The president of Brown University in Rhode Island argues it does. In a New York Times op-ed over the weekend, Christina Paxson argued that the reopening of college campuses in the fall should be a national priority. To make it possible, she imagines testing all students when they first arrive on campus and then at regular intervals throughout the year. Using data from students' phones to notify anyone who's been around them if someone tests positive. Setting aside spaces for isolating and quarantining students, maybe in hotel rooms. Yes, there'd be sports in empty stadiums, and everyone might have to wear masks on campus. Oh, and virtual social events might have to replace parties for a while. Good luck with that one. It's all hard to imagine, isn't it? But wouldn't these past six weeks have been impossible to imagine? Imagination is the first step in getting us out of this. So yeah, I can imagine robust public health safeguards working on a college campus. I can imagine people willingly wearing masks to protect each other. And I can imagine, eventually, a vaccine. So I guess I can imagine an end to this after all.